Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play the game Fortnite on your Apple Silicon Mac. So at the time of recording, it's not possible to play the full online multiplayer version on an M1 or M2 Mac. You can install Fortnite, but it's going to be restricted to an older version of the game. Therefore, if you want to play online multiplayer with the rest of the world, then the only actual option is to use cloud gaming. And the way that this works is that the game is being rendered on a server and it's being streamed to your browser on your Apple Silicon Mac. And this is gonna help with any kind of compatibility or anti-cheat issues. And Boostroid is pretty much the best cloud streaming service in order to achieve this. So today what I'm gonna do is to show you how to sign up to Boostroid, how to add Fortnite onto your account, and how to go ahead and play the online multiplayer version of the game with the rest of the world. Now Boostroid is a service that can run dozens of different games and today we're going to specifically focus on Fortnite but the same steps will apply to any other game on the Epic Game Store. And I'm also going to show you how to reduce latency and get the best possible gaming experience. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So what we're going to do here is go to the boostroid.com website which I'm going to leave a link to in the description. If you do click the link and make a purchase I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the work that I do. So what we're going to do here is click the sign in button on the top right hand side and then we will create a new account or if you have an account already then go ahead and log in. Here I'm going to press create an account and then I'll enter my email, phone and password details. So once I've signed up it's asked us to activate with our email account just go ahead and find the email and then press activate account and then we're going to log in with the account we just created and now Beastroid is ready to go. So one thing that you should definitely do is to test the speed of your internet connection before you make any purchase for Beastroid. So just click the button at the top right hand side of the screen. So here it's saying that my connection is too slow but that's because I'm running this through Wi-Fi. So one thing I highly recommend doing is connecting your MacBook directly to the internet using an ethernet cable. So what I'm using is a DockTech dock and this allows you to add various USB devices, charging, etc. But the most important thing is that we have an Ethernet cable which connects directly to our router. This is going to hugely improve our latency. If you use Wi Fi, then you're going to experience some dropout, some lag, and this is going to be death for cloud gaming. So make sure to check the link in the description for this DocTech hub. And then here, what we're going to do is to make sure that we disconnect our Wi Fi. And then if we click on network settings, you can see here that we have our dock connected and that we're connected to the internet only through the Ethernet port. So now that we're connected via Ethernet, we're getting a decent latency of 16 milliseconds, which is the recommended number as long as it's under 20 milliseconds. And we're getting a bandwidth of 46 megabit per second, which is over the recommended 25 megabit per second. So we're getting an excellent score here. As long as you get an excellent score like this, then this cloud gaming service is probably going to work great for you. If you have any issues, then make sure to check out the connection improvement tips. Use a cable instead of Wi-Fi. Make sure your devices aren't downloading anything. And make sure that you're the only one using your internet connection. So now what we're going to do is to click the subscribe and play button and we're going to start a subscription. So on the left we have the per month subscription so that's paying month by month so you can just cancel at any time. On the right hand side we have the ultimate subscription which is $7.49 per month however you're locked into one annual payment of €89.89. Today what we're going to be doing is the monthly subscription. It's probably the best for you if you want to test this out for the very first time so click on this. Here we're going to accept the terms and conditions and then we're going to go ahead and make a payment. So now our payment has gone through. I'm going to be free to start using the service. So I've now gone ahead and subscribed and go ahead and start loading up games. So now what we're going to do is to play Fortnite. So this is going to be on the home page. If you can't find it there, just do the magnifying glass here, do a search for Fortnite, and then go ahead and press the play button. So here it's saying that we're going to be connecting to our Epic Game Store account. So we're going to press OK, let's go. And now the cloud server is booting up. And now it's asking us to log into our Epic Games Store account. So I'm going to go ahead and press the top button. However, if you've created your account using a different service, you can click one of the bottom ones here. I'll sign in with Epic Games. Now I'm going to type in my email address and password. It's going to solve the capture. Press next. Verify. Now it's asking me for my email authentication. So I'm just going to check my email. Now it's loading up the Epic Games launcher. And now if you can see in the left sidebar, we've got Fortnite running here. So I'm going to press the button here. So you can only see that Fortnite is launching. We don't need to interact with the Epic Games launcher at all. So now this is all connecting up, just wait for that to update. So now you can see that Fortnite Chapter 4 has loaded up. This is the main multiplayer version that's out at the moment. I'm going to press close here and now we are all set. So we're able to play Chapter 4 Season 1. So the main thing you need to be aware of is that you can press the green button here. It's going to maximize and it's going to allow you to play the game in full screen. So we're playing the game now and I'm just going to show you that it all works correctly. So it's even possible to play with the controller as well. So I have my controller paired up as a Bluetooth controller. If I go into my settings here, I can see that this is paired up on the Mac side. 
And it's all going to be working correctly through Boost Droid as well. So I can switch weapons. I can do things like do attacks. And the controller side is all working correctly. So once we're actually in the game, the actual performance of this is pretty good. Out of all of the Boost Droid games that I tried, Fortnite actually seems to work the very best out of all of them. And despite the fact that I'm playing in what I'm pretty sure is a bot match, the experience does feel pretty smooth and solid. So anyway, that is how you get Fortnite online multiplayer working on Apple Silicon hardware. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.